Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi dear parents. Today we're talking about Luqman alayhi salam and his advice to his son, a parent worthy of us following and learning from in the Quran. In Surah Al Luqman, Allah says, Ba'd a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa it qala Luqmanu li ibnihi wa huwa ya'iduhu ya bunayya la tushrik billah. Inna shirka li dhulmun azim. And remember when Luqman, he was saying to his son that, uh, Ya Bunayya, O oh my dear son. And we see that again. We talked about Ibrahim alayhi salam, how he used terms of endearment, beautiful way to approaching and addressing his son. Luqman alayhi salam is also using this beautiful way of connecting to his son, O oh my dear son. And he's telling him that do not associate any partner with Allah. T teaching him about the oneness of God, that we have only one God who created us. There is no one that is a partner to that God and no one that we associate any partner to him in our belief in Him, in our worship to Him. And He's saying that that is the worst of all things. That's the lie. This is the biggest oppression. The one who created us, who has sent us in this world, who has created everything around us. And, and instead of recognizing Him and His signs that are all around us and even within us, in our own selves, if we associate any partner with Him, that is the biggest oppression because this heavens and earth, all of the creation originate and come from God. That is the biggest oppression. That is the foundation of our faith, knowing about that oneness of God and believing and having that full conviction. So he's, he's fully trying to ground that in his son. And the next, Luqman continues and he says something very beautiful. He says, oh my dear son, even if a deed were the weight of a mustard seed, weight of a mustard seed, and it was hidden in a rock anywhere in the heavens of the earth, in the bottom of the oceans, in the middle of mountains or caves, or in the middle of uh, uh, the rainforest, wherever you, you would take it in the heavens and the earth to hide it, Allah will bring it out. Allah will know where that mustard seed is. Allah will know where that is. Because Allah is all aware, all in control. Everything, nothing, you know, is, go, is outside the knowledge and the vision and the, and the kudra and the power and the majesty of God. And Allah is latiful khabir. Allah is the most subtle. He knows the, the, the most, most hidden things. And he knows the most apparent things and he's all aware. And he's teaching him about who God is. And a lot of times we focus on what is right and what is wrong, what to do, what not to do. And we forget to tell our kids about what are the names of God? What are those names mean? What is the greatness of a God? And how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. And Quran and the verses of Quran are beautiful tools to use to teach our kids about Allah's greatness. Like this verse that a mustard seed, you hide it anywhere in the, in the world, Allah knows where that is, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful way to cultivate the greatness of God in our kids and their hearts so that everything that they are supposed to do as a righteous Muslims, it will come from their heart because they understand who their Lord is, who Allah is. May Allah give us tawfiq to discuss and talk about Allah's greatness and understand who God is and all the other excellence of deeds and excellence in everything we do in this life will emanate from our heart, emanate from our belief and our rootedness and foundation in our belief and in our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us and our, our children and our families tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.